Hello guys, this is Raymond from Digi Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 209. Realme GT Neo 2 5G has been launched in India officially. The key Realme GT Neo 2 specifications include a Snapdragon 870 processor, 6.62 inch 120Hz AMOLED display, 65W fast charging support and Android 11 OS out of the box. Realme GT Neo 2 5G price in India starts at Rs 31,999. Along with the launch of the Realme GT Neo 2 smartphone in India, Realme also announced a bunch of new AIoT products such as Realme 4K Smart Google TV Stick, Realme Break Bluetooth Speakers, 3 new smartphone gaming accessories and a new color variant of the Realme Buds 8 2. Let's take a look at the specification, features and prices of all AIoT products that Realme launched today. Realme's first streaming device is also called as India's first Google TV Stick. This 4K Smart Stick has a name such suggests that it can stream up to 4K 60 frames per second and HDR 10 plus videos on your TV. Much like any other streaming device, the Realme 4K Smart TV Stick will upgrade the existing non-smart TV to a smart TV or upgrade the existing smart TV interface to a Google TV interface. The Realme 4K Smart Google TV Stick is priced at Rs 3999 and will go on sale on Flipkart as well as Realme.com. During the initial sale, the stick can be brought for Rs 2000 $2,999. The latest audio product from the Realme, the Brick Bluetooth speaker, harness a 20 watt dynamic bass boost driver setup with the two dedicated bass radiator. If you purchase two speakers, you can pair them and get a 360 degree stereo and sound effect. In terms of battery life, the speakers packed with a 5200mAh battery which can rate it to last up to 14 hours of a single charge. The speaker comes with an USB Type-C port for charging. The Realme Brick Bluetooth speaker is priced at Rs 2999 and will go on sale from October 18th on Realme.com. The Realme Buds 8 to close green color variant was launched today. Apart from the change in the color which matches the Neo green color variant of the Realme GT Neo 2, other specifications and features remain the same. The Buds 8 2 offers active noise cancellation and up to 25 hours of battery life. It is powered by a 10mm Hi-Fi Bass Boost driver and it is powered by a Realme R2 chipset. In the terms of pricing, it will go on sale for Rs 3,299 on Flipkart and Realme.com starting from October 18th. And lastly, the Realme also announced three gaming accessories, Realme Cooling Backlip Neo, Type-C Super Dart Game Cable and a Mobile Gaming Trigger. The gaming cable comes with a 7.6mm narrow elbow design and is made up to branded nylon material. It supports 65 watt fast charging support. The gaming triggers is made up of zinc alloy material and offers a latency-free gaming experience. The cooling clip is priced at Rs 999. The Type-C Super Dart gaming cable cost us around Rs 599 and the mobile gaming trigger is priced at Rs 699. All these gaming accessories will go on sale from October 18th on Realme.com. OnePlus 9RT 5G price starts at around Rs 38,500 in China. This phone comes with a Snapdragon triplet processor and a 50 megapixel primary camera. OnePlus 9RT 5G is expected to launch in India very soon. The OnePlus Buds Z2 is now official. The latest true wireless earbuds for OnePlus was just unveiled in China along with the new flagship phone, the OnePlus 9R team. Ahead of the launch, OnePlus has already confirmed 7 major upgrades the Buds Z2 will be getting over the last gen true wireless. The key features of the OnePlus Z2 include an active noise cancellation, up to 38 hours of the battery life and a 94 microsecond low latency mode. The newly launched budget true wireless borrows many features from the OnePlus Buds Pro which is currently priced at Rs 9990 in India. OnePlus Note 2 Pac-Man Special Edition is tipped to be in the works. This special edition phone is set to ship with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor instead of the Dimensity 1200 AI processor. OnePlus Note 2 Pac-Man Edition is expected to launch in November. Realme shared a poster of the Realme GT Neo 2T yesterday, revealing its design and confirming the presence of a 64 megapixel triple camera on the rear. We saw the GT Neo 2T in glazed white color, but it will come in black shade as well. Realme says the black color model's rear panel has a matte finish and it has a fingerprint resistant. 
Realme UI 3.0 based on Android 12 has been unveiled in India. This UI brings a new 3D icon design, global theme color customization, new always on display themes and an AI animation engine and many more. Realme UI 3.0 update will roll out to the Realme GT series first. Samsung Galaxy Unpacked Event Part 2 is scheduled on October 20th. The company is expected to focus on software and services at the Unpacked Event. There are chances the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series might be announced on the stage. We saw the debut of the Black Shark 4S and Black Shark 4S Pro. The gaming smartphone bring mostly visual changes with redesigned back and the 4S is getting a special Gundam edition. The 4S Pro gets a performance boost. It is now powered by the Snapdragon 888 Plus processor. Nothing has announced that it has raised around 50 million US dollars from strategic and private investors alongside announcing the partnership with American chip making chain Qualcomm. Nothing raised investment from Swedish Christopher Axwell headfirst and the Sebastian Ingrosso. HTC is teasing a new VR device which is going to be introduced during the virtual event on October 14th 8 am PDT time. According to rumors, this device will be called the Vive Flow, hence go with the Flow tagline. It's been a few weeks since Apple started selling a newly launched iPhone 13 series model in the market across the world. The company has been facing issues with the production of its product due to the chip shortage. And it seems that the trouble for the company has now increased. Apple is cutting down the production of its iPhone 13 models by as many as 10 million units because of the chip shortage. Apple was expected to produce about 90 million units of its newly launched smartphone in the fourth quarter of this year, but it appears that the manufacturing part Partners of Apple have informed the company that the total will be lower because of the shortage of components from Broadcom and Texas Instruments. Garena Free Fire is announcing Dasara Damaka, a new tournament on the Battle Royale game platform that will feature streaming battling it over a big prize pool. Here's everything you need to know about the new tournament. The Dasara Damaka tournament will be held on October 15th and October 16th at 3 pm on both the days and it will take place on the Boya gaming platform. There will be a prize pool of 3000 US dollars that is around rupees 2 lakhs 26200 Indian rupees for the winners. The DJI's upcoming Mavic 3 drone has been the subject of the much speculation and leaks recently. The DJI Mavic 3 is scheduled for release on November 5th as tweeted by the company via official Twitter handle. The Redmi K50 series will succeed the Redmi K40 series which launched on Feb this year. Redmi K50 series will have a three models, namely Redmi K50, K50 Pro and K50 Pro Plus. The high-end model is going to feature a 120Hz AMOLED display and Snapdragon AAA processor. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DJ Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.